If you want to go for a walk after eating to lower your glucose levels, but it's too cold, dark, or dangerous out, join me for an indoor walk. Indoor walking is amazing because you can do it from the comfort of your own home for incredible fitness benefits. I created this indoor walking workout so that you can use it anytime you need to get moving to lower a glucose spike after eating. It's gentle enough that you won't get a stomach cramp and all levels so that your grandparents, kids, and even your pets can join you to get some post meal steps. All you need is a little bit of space and a positive attitude. Done consistently, this 10 minute indoor walking routine will positively impact your health. And when it does, I want to hear all about it below in the comments. Are you ready to try it? Lace up your trainers and join me for this gentle indoor walking workout to lower your blood sugar and improve your health. Let's get moving to lower our blood sugar and improve our health together. When you're ready to get started, meet me in a march. Roll your shoulders down and back and take a moment to be proud of yourself for showing up for your health. I love going for a walk after meals because it's the perfect time to reflect and give back to my, myself. It always allows me to feel so much better. And I know that once this 10 minutes is over, we are going to feel energized and ready for whatever adventure life has in store for us next. Take a moment to inhale deeply and exhale completely. Did you grab a friend or a pet to join you on this walk today? I also love walking after meals because I like to spend a little time with my loved ones. And so whether I'm taking my parents out for a walk or I've invited my friend to join me, it's a great time for connection. So if you just had dinner with your family, grab them and bring them in for this video today. Stand up nice and tall and just move your feet right to left. Nice and easy. You don't need to go too fast. Just let it feel good today. We forget that movement can just feel good. It doesn't have to be crazy hard to be effective. It can just be what I call movement medicine. All right, when you're ready, if you'd like to mix it up, take your body just step touch right to left. Get a little lateral movement side to side. Feel some gentle work in your hips and your thighs. And if you like to engage your core, give you a little squeeze right here. Walking is a lot of core work, surprisingly. People don't think of walking like an ab workout, but if you're using your core to help you stand up tall, it's working, even if you don't feel it. Good job. Keep that posture on point using your abs. And I hope you're smiling because I, I believe that positive energy creates more positive energy. Movement helps you feel better, not just physically, but mentally. And that positive energy shows up in everything, your relationships, your work life. It goes far. So you might think 10 minutes won't do a lot, but it will lower your blood glucose and it will help you feel more positive and it will improve your health. And it doesn't take much more time to really see a big bang for your buck. Good job with that step touch right to left. Let's return to our march. Roll your shoulders down and back. Feel free to go slower or faster. Just let this movement medicine give you all that positive energy that you're here for. If you want a longer indoor walk, I've got 20, 15, 30 minute videos. Lots to choose from, and playlists for all the things. Lots of stretching, lots of strength training. So, and we're all about sustainable fitness on this channel. Things that are going to help you stay active for life because I want to be teaching when I'm 102 and I want you to be there with me. What do you say? Let's do it together. All right, let's go a little bit forward and back. So now we're just going to walk forward and come back. Walk forward and come back. 
You got it. Now I'm staying on one leg that's leading because I plan to do both sides. <laughs> What's been really cool about wearing a CGM is that I can see how my workouts impact my blood glucose throughout the day. I can also see how my food choices spike things or not. And I've learned a lot by wearing one of these. Knowledge is power, you know? When you know better, you can choose better. So I'm really grateful to NutriSense for giving me the data to improve my health. Let's switch sides. So other leg leads and comes back. Yeah, your legs are working. <laughs> Let those arms just swing naturally. Let it just feel good. That's our goal, is just to feel good after a meal. Help with digestion, help with overall health, help with mindset. And if you're enjoying this gentle indoor walk, leave me a comment below, tell me all about it. Also, if you grabbed a pet to join you on this indoor walk today, I wanna know what kind of pet they are. I love it when you share photos of your animals. I just love pets. <laughs> I think if I was an animal, I mean, I would probably be a cute little Pomeranian. Lots of energy, a little high maintenance. Super cute though. All right, let's return to that march. Good, let those shoulders drop away from your ears. Continue to breathe deeply in and out. <sighs> Good job. I'm so proud of you. I know sometimes health can seem challenging. Life gets busy, stress happens, and taking care of yourself feels like a very daunting task that doesn't always come easy to prioritize. But doing so can make stress less challenging because you're able to feel stronger when you show up for those harder things that life throws at you. So remember, even 10 minutes goes far and can make you healthier, happier, and better overall for everything in your world. It's true. Don't believe me? Try it. 10 minutes a day, see what kind of results it has. And then if you feel good with 10 minutes a day, try 15. Small steps, consistency, it's the key to results. Good, that's right. Okay, now we're gonna try a little out and in. So you're going to take your feet, you're gonna step out and in. Out and in, that's right. So indoor walking is amazing because if you live anywhere that has winter, I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm not walking in zero degrees. <laughs> I love an indoor walk. Winter, rain, maybe you don't wanna walk outside because it's really dark dangerous indoor walk you can take it with you anywhere you go let's try the other leg leading so you're going to step out step in now remember you cannot really do indoor walking wrong you can't just move your body breathe choose a positive thought you're doing great that's all you need good job a plus <laughs> you got it keep breathing I'm so proud of you. How many steps do you think we can get in 10 minutes? If you're tracking your steps, comment below. Tell me. <sighs> nice job, my friend. All right, let's return to our march. <sighs> Roll your shoulders down and back. Gentle engagement of the core. A Little bit of standing abs for you. <laughs> nice job. Go fast or slow, it doesn't matter, you just wanna go. I wonder how this 10 minutes will impact your blood sugar. If you're monitoring those things, I wanna hear about it. I also have diabetes exercises at home, lots of videos, a lot of videos. So if you wanna continue your session after this, I've got a lot for you to choose from. We're in this together. You don't have to do health alone. Community is key to anything, to thriving in life. I'm so glad that you're part of my community. Thank you for being here today. 
Okay, we're just gonna gently ease our way to the end of this walk. So I want you to see the home stretch. We've spent 10 minutes indoor walking for better health. I feel so much better than I did a few minutes ago. Do you? I hope so. Movement is medicine, baby. Movement is medicine. It's the best kind. Movement is medicine. Food can be medicine. Community can be medicine. There's lots of good natural things we can incorporate into our lifestyle to live longer and feel better while we're at it. How's that posture? How's that smile? <laughs> Are you sweating a little bit? I hope so. That sparkle looks good on you. Whew. Home stretch, cruise into the end of this walk. Few more steps into the finish. <laughs> I'm laughing because I just love a good walk. You made it. Take a nice deep breath, inhale, and let it out. You, my friend, have just successfully completed a 10 minute indoor walk to lower your blood sugar and improve your health. I'm your certified health and fitness coach, Caroline Jordan, and I'm so grateful that you decided to press play on this video today. Thank you so much for being a part of my community. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and make sure to check out patreon.com backslash Caroline Jordan Fitness for so much more. I'm cheering for you, my friend. Thank you so much for being here, and thank you, NutriSense, for helping me monitor my blood sugar levels so that I can be healthier for all of these guys out there. I'll see you soon at Caroline Jordan Fitness. Until then, stay strong, my friend. Going for a walk after a meal can reduce blood sugar levels, even when it's just for a few short minutes. When you eat a meal, particularly one heavy in carbohydrates, it's normal for your blood sugar levels or the amount of glucose in your blood to sometimes spike temporarily. This spike in blood sugar typically triggers the release of a hormone called insulin, which allows glucose to leave your bloodstream and enter your cells where it's used for energy. If the body consistently has high spikes in blood sugar and it's routinely pumping out more insulin, cells can eventually stop responding to insulin and become insulin resistant. This break in the balance can lead to prediabetes and type 2 diabetes. But new research shows that taking a quick walk after meals can help to lower your blood sugar level and potentially reduce the chances of developing cardiovascular disease or diabetes. That is awesome. In this video, I am using a NutriSense CGM to monitor my blood glucose levels before, during, and after my indoor walk. NutriSense is bringing continuous glucose monitors, aka CGMs, to the masses. CGMs are no longer just for diabetic patients, and that's in a large part due to our shifting understanding of metabolic health and its root cause in several chronic diseases. Using a CGM can help you improve your glucose levels, understand your response to food and training, and make more informed, healthy lifestyle changes. Using a CGM was actually what inspired me to get moving for a few minutes after meals because I can directly see the impact of movement on my NutriSense charts. And when you use a NutriSense CGM, you also have the ability to access a nutritionist who analyzes your data and helps educate you on what your glucose readings mean so that you can make better choices and improve your health outcomes. Do you already use a CGM to keep your metabolic health in good shape? Let me know in the comments below. And if you don't already have one, get a discount with my code CJFITSQUAD at the link below.